Good morning, guys. It's me. Another day. Another life. Another chance to be happy. And um, to be grateful for what God has truly done. It's such a rainy, beautiful day today in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, yeah, I have to say that because some people ask me, is it Atlanta, Germany, I think? That's what it was. But it's Atlanta, Georgia. Um, yep, I just dropped my son at church. They are going out for a church camp. So for a whole week, I'm going to miss him, but... He's a teenager right now and he's at that stage of like, I don't need your company at all. And it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it's not a baby anymore. And I have to like, keep reminding myself that he's growing, but I still need my baby. Like if I can go back in the years, like when he was two years and Oh my gosh, three years. Uh easy life. But now he's at that stage of like he don't wanna talk. He don't wanna hang out with you. He don't wanna go out with you. He don't wanna sit down with you. Like for example, like today, um, you know, dropping him in church and I'm walking down hallway with him and he's like Don't walk with me and I'm like are you embarrassed that I'm your mom? You know, I had to ask him. And he's saying, no, 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 no. Um, I just want to walk by myself. And I'm like, you hurt my feelings. And then he's saying, no, 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 not in that way. Um, so in a minute, he was like, walk walk next to me but um like when we got to the great hall you know the church has like a great hall there that they were waiting to load their luggages in the um the tour bus and um so he said mommy i'm good from here i'm good just just go back i'm like andy i want to see you go and he said no i'm good i'm good mommy i'm okay just just go back just go back <laughs> like okay okay then I was like I'm gonna meet you and he just looked like me he, he just looked at me like I'm not gone forever maybe that's what was in his mind but I don't know he didn't even say anything and then um so he when I left, like, maybe some years away from him, he called my name, and he is stretching his hands, like, give me a hug. <laughs> and that was so sweet. Um, I'm going to miss him. At the same time, I'm happy. I'm ha I have a break from yelling. <laughs> but still, I'm going to miss him. Um, he is growing to be a man. Uh, and that's when he just realized that, oh wow, the baby that was, is not a baby anymore. And I just have to let him be. <sighs> yep. I just have to let him be and trust him that he's up to good things. Yeah, and and just nurture him, really. He he's still my baby. He's still and will still be. Um, but it's that part of realization of like, oh wow. I guess I, I can't control him like my three year old or my five years old. He's, 
he's a guy that is having his own decision right now and he can speak up for himself and kind of defend himself and I have to like sit down and listen to what he's saying at the same time it's just hard to swallow hard to swallow um that oh one day he's just gonna walk out and be out there and, oh, oh I don't know um I, I just pray, pray the best for him, and I hope for the best for him too. And um, yeah, just all the good things, all the good things, all the good things that I can think of and pray about. Um, that's all I can wish him and think of. Other than that, um, teenaging life. It's really a kicker right now. It's really a kicker right now. And um, I'm finding myself struggling to deal with his teenaging behavior and, you know, weird, weirdness. And yeah, because like when we were growing up, it, it, well, I never grew up with a boy at all in my family because we are all girls. Plus, I went to a girls' school, um, boarding school. So the only place I had to deal with pretty much boys or being in the same class that was in college, really. All my elementary school and schooling and middle schooling and high school it was a girls' school. So having to experience boyhood or a boy child is being an eye opener and even understanding them too yeah it's been a little um, challenging at the same time we are able to cope with each other well yeah um, so that's it my friend and um, hopefully to talk to you sooner or later and I wish you all the best. You have a good day. Whoever has a teenager, let me tell, uh, I mean, comment below. Tell me how you deal with their ignorance and their attitude and their everything. Because really, right now, it's pretty much like a foaming hurricane sometimes. You know? You know what I mean? It's like a foaming hurricane and then you don't want to let it out. But, ooh, they just make you feel like you're going to ooze. <laughs> That's what I say. Ooze. Yeah. But anyways, take care. Mwah.